Welcome back everyone. As promised we are up here atop the Taltal mountain range. We have a couple of things we can do. First off we can hook shot over these gaps and head on down the stairway hidden here. There's a reason I'm taking you this way because you can grab some more pickups. Take care of the keys. And we'll get our bombs out. Don't drop down there because you can't get back up. Make our way past those. And we have a piece of heart. The one we saw earlier. I will be going back to get the chest there too. But we'll worry about that a little bit later on. Let's keep on heading to the west. Down we go and we can use our newly acquired hookshot to zip over the gap. Head on outside. Now, as almost a tradition for the Zelda series, rocks are falling from absolutely nowhere. Take out the Moldorm here. Do a better job of it than I did. And there's another secret seashell. Throw the rock into the background. Yes, you can actually lob the rocks into the background. Nice shot. And we can also get 50 rupees. And find another staircase. And needless to say, you know what to do here. And we have our final capacity upgrade. We will be able to carry 60 arrows. Probably more than we'll need. But it helps to have them. Defeat the Moldorm and note that that is a warp point but we can't access it just yet. We need a certain item from later dungeons. But what we can do is wander all the way along here. And we can acquire another piece of heart. So given that we've done all we can up in the Telltale Mountains for now. Let's play our Mambo and we should head back to Animal Village. It is time to solve the secret of the mermaid statue and we will need our hookshot. But first, note that Marin is not singing today, and run into a tree, very nice. Oh well, got some apples along the way, that's a bonus. There is a cave I... Managed to run into a tree again. I'll have my Pegasus Boost license revoked. Anyway, that cave in the corner of Animal Village. Bomb that one open. Now the idea is that you're supposed to go around the long way by going up there, throwing a bomb over a gap, and then making your way to it. But, as always, there's a shortcut because there is a thing called Bomb Arrows. We will still need to bomb that, but... Piece of heart. And for that matter, a piece of cake. The usual 
nuisances, including a piece of power. Across we go, and head outside now. Now is the time we go back to the mermaid statue. Make quick work and get into the waters of Martha's Bay. Not actually in the waters. Oh, also, if you want to take out those ever so obnoxious zeros, Hookshot. You can also stun Buzz Blobs. Hookshot your way across via that crate. The missing scale is placed in the tail. <coughs> Excuse me. Shul Donovich will tell you about that. Let's go in. There are also enemies we can't see. Judging by the sound, there are arm mimics in there. But this is the final item of the trading sequence, the magnifying glass. Magnifying lens, sorry. The last of those enemies were revealed to us. So, with our newfound magnifying lens, we should hang around in Animal Village. So good having the hook shot. Little wonder it's probably one of the best regarded items in the series. Anyway, make our way back into Animal Village with the magnifying lens in tow. Say hello to Grandma Yahoo if you like. And head into this house. Remember how there was no one there? Talk to the friendly Zora. Hey, you can see me? You must have a magnifying glass. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. I'll give you this if you promise to keep your mouth shut. Another secret seashell is ours. A promise is a promise, okay? Hey, you should head out to the cave at Toronbo Shores. Use the magnifying glass there and you'll find someone else like me. Sounds pretty good. So let's set our Mambo and warp to Martha's Bay. Heading west. And we can finally bomb open that cave I showed you. And apparently, the sight of us spinning around and then vanishing into the sky is not that interesting. So, set ourselves up. Over we go. And let's make our way to the Toronto Shores once again. There we are, bomb this cave. Damn it. And in we go. We will find a Goria. They don't appear very often in the series. Now, I want to set the shovel. In the original game, once you'd gained 20 secret seashells, you didn't need the shovel. Talk to him. I found a good item washed up on the beach. I'll trade it to you for whatever you have in your X or Y button. If you want to trade, press X or Y, and if you don't, press B. Okay, let's do it. If you want the item you traded me again, come back. We have the Boomerang. This was overpowered beyond belief in the original game. It would defeat pretty much anything. It will stun enemies and deal damage, but... It's nowhere near as powerful. If you head back in, talk to the Goria. I'll sell you your shovel back. 
How does 300 rupees sound? Well, we might as well buy it back. And there we are. You had to trade in the original games. That is the trading sequence wrapped up. But our exploration obviously isn't done. Let's get to playing that Mambo and warp to Tal Tal Heights. There is a huge unexplored portion of the map. And we are about to explore it. Hookshot over here. And make your way around to the Rapids Ride game. Notice that he looks a bit like the trendy gamester. It's expensive. But we're going on the Rapids Raid which will allow us to recover resources. We will be taking the raid, as I said. And you can use your hookshot to manoeuvre and the rock's feather to jump. Control stick also manoeuvres. If you want to get through things faster, use the hookshot. And hook shot along this way to grab a heart piece. Now we have a bit more navigating to do. If we maneuver over here, we can open a chest which only has 20 rupees in it. But it's money. You are far from any secrets. But there are some to find. Grab resources. Also note that our seashell sensor went off. So we want a hook shot down this way. Up there. And here. There we go. Another secret seashell. Let's work on collecting resources. Just manoeuvre around, use the hookshot to help you. And that treasure chest, we can't get that just yet, but we will later. I want to go diagonally. Looks like I can't get those. And you should be able to make back most of your money, if not all of it. But let's potter on down. The ride is over. We... whoops. We don't want another go. Just yet, we need to go on the race. But you'll notice we're near the Face Shrine. Which is the sixth dungeon, but we have the Southern Shrine to navigate to first. And... Another heart piece. So that puts us at 27, not doing too badly. And we're back here near the Rapids Ride once again. So you need to set a couple of record times in the race. So we'll be setting the race and I'll be showing you what to do. The hookshot is vital. You want to keep a fairly high time first around. Hookshot along and... 
use the hook shot to go down here. And pull yourself along, basically. So we'll dick around a little bit. So yes, the seashell sensor went off. We can't access that secret seashell just yet. But cruise around after fluffing around a bit. And there we go. We get a piece of heart. Another heart container is done. We probably should ride again, because if we beat our record time... We can get a secret seashell. So let's get going. And I'll be more serious. Absolutely smashed it. Do I get a secret seashell as well? Oh no. Okay, well, I'll try again and we'll see if I do get one. Okay, we actually got the secret seashell. I was beginning to think I wouldn't. So, if you want to keep collecting secret seashells, get to land and follow me for one more. Our ideal man location is Candlelight Castle. So let's go to Seashell Mansion. I think we are pretty much all done for heart pieces. We have just a few to get later in the game and connected to Dampes. <laughs> Head up here and equip your hookshot to cross this gap. Worth noting, you could get it with the flying rooster in the original games. What's the flying rooster? Well, it's a rooster that flies. But where it comes in, that's the question. Anyway, things are faring pretty well for us, so I think we'll wrap it up by making our way around to the Southern Shrine. Animal Village is our closest location. We have to make our way through the area we saw before. We grabbed a secret seashell from there. Oh, I thought I'd got it. Away we go and defeat the Tektites as before. If you want, there's a fairy up there. There's also an owl statue. The windfish slumbers long, the hero's life gone. Fairly ominous. There's the fairy.
And we will equip our bow. Dispatch the Armos and Zols in your way. Lots and lots of Zols in our way. But we've finally made it. Oh, what? In we go! Fairly ominous designs on the walls. And slightly creepy music. With an Armos Knight. You have to try to avoid that attack of his and hit him when he's vulnerable. You'll have to hit him in the back as far as I know. Though he's very... Or is it your sword? No, there we go. We actually got him. Come on, this thing must have s Okay, the shield's gone. It's oddly frustrating to try and get hits, but once you do, it goes down surprisingly easily. Anyway, we do have to head a little upwards if you, if you like. You'll, you will notice that the text on screen mentioned the island secret in the shrine. So let's read it. To the finder. The Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky. A scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer and Koholint will vanish much like a bubble on a needle. Castaway, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? It's actually implied Link is speaking there. The island is an illusion. That's a lot to take in for our hero. If the island is an illusion, then... What's going to happen to him if he wakes the windfish? As always, the owl arrives to provide some exposition. I see you have read the relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the Windfish. Trust your feelings. Someday you will discover the answer. Well, it's very cryptic. The Owl is trying to reassure us. The relief, and indeed what Slime Eel said, seem to imply the whole thing is just an illusion. What is it really? What is the true nature of Kohalint Island? For those of you who genuinely don't know, we're going to find out. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next time on our adventure through Kohalint Island.